It's the reality of running a restaurant, dealing with customers that vent on social media and then cross the line. He left a review on Yelp stating that a crazy Asian girl didn't give him an appropriate amount of hot sauce. Meisel reached out to Yelp and the review was removed. Yelp's 2022 Trust and Safety Report also shows it's becoming more proactive, having removed more than 2,000 racist reviews before they were published on their business review platform. 475 of them targeted Asian businesses, up from just nine in 2021. At San Francisco Chinatown's China Live restaurant, founder George Chen gets a kick out of responding to nearly every Yelp review, even the strange ones. I still get visions of fuzzy bunny slippers and rainbow candies when I eat mediocre chow mein. <laughs> but it's no laughing matter when he gets racist reviews, which Chen says in five years of business have been around a couple dozen. We don't eat your kind of food and I didn't like it because Chinese food doesn't really belong here. You know, stuff like that. You're kind of anti-China. It's like a popular thing to do and it bugs me, right? Because what we've we all contribute, all ethnicities contribute to this country, and the Chinese have done so much. Forget the railroads and everything else, but look at you know Silicon Valley, you know, and all that. Why do they identify Asian or Chinese restaurants particularly to just show your ignorance and attack? In fact, a University of Michigan study found that in 2020, Asian restaurants saw an 18% drop in business compared to non-Asian restaurants in the same area. That resulted in a $7.4 billion loss in revenue. It makes me very, very sad and very, very angry. And I'm just glad we're patronizing one tonight. And I will make an effort, actually, to think about that when... Um, when we choose where we're going to where we're going to dine, we've all suffered uh, API hate thing. We've had people shoot BBs through our windows and scream stuff driving down the street. But generally, we've been fairly lucky. We're Chinese Americans that were born over there, brought our culture here, and doing our business. And food brings people together. So for me, that's the message. And food is more important than ever in bridging the, those differences. Chen believes Yelp's proactive measures against racist reviews are contributing to a healthier business environment. As for China Live, it recently moved from a three and a half star rating to four stars and will even soon be opening a food emporium at the Louvre in Paris. Yet another opportunity to bring more cultures together through the power of food. Mark New CGTN, San Francisco.